Welcome to my channel, where we discuss all things politics, especially the 2023 presidential election, which comes up next year. And as I keep saying, the presidential election is the most important of all the elections in 2023. I want us to look at uh, the recent tweets by the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Aswajibola Metinubu, where he tweeted from London that, quote and unquote, I am not dead. And uh, Tinubu in that tweet said that uh, he is hell and hearty and that he looks forward to the forthcoming uh, campaigns where he will uh, show that he's ready to serve the country as the president of Nigeria, you know? And uh, that had his tweet and the story around it has been making the rounds in the Nigerian media, but most importantly, in the, the nation newspaper, that is owned by the presidential candidate of uh, APC. And that paper has published the picture of their principal on the cover of the newspaper. And they also, they release a video, a short video on their online version where the All Progressive Congress uh, presidential candidate was seen uh, in a gym and they, they, they captured the video. Tinubu walks out at gym. Now, this is apparently to show uh, that uh, Tinubu is hell and hearty in London because as concerns grew grows over the state of his health, particularly over his absence in the, in the country. You know, the man has been absent in the country and there have been issues that require his presence, especially the controversy that has continued to trail the composition of the Presidential Campaign Council of the party, uh, which has uh the NWC of the party against Aswadibola Metinubo and some of his uh, inner circles. Now, he is supposed to be in the country to address this issue, but he is not there. And of course, you know that his absence has led to the indefinite suspension of the constitution or the inauguration of members of that uh, campaign council. There was also worry over his failure to attend the, the peace accord uh, ceremony, signing ceremony that took place in Abuja, where he was the only presidential candidate that was missing at a very important occasion like that that heralds the beginning of the campaign season in Nigeria. Now, there are a lot of implications for Tinubu's uh, absence in the country, his disappearance from the country, because when he left the country, as a major campaign, a major player in Nigerian politics ahead of 2023 presidential election, there ought to have been information on where he was going to. Because having emerged the candidate of the APC, Tinubu no longer owned himself. He cannot behave anyhow he likes. He cannot travel anyhow he likes without telling Nigerians where he is. But that was exactly what he did. He left without telling Nigerians where he was going to. And uh, he, 
the, the former national chairman of the APC, Adam Soshomole, looked pitiable on uh, uh, channels television, struggling to explain where the presidential candidate of his party was. Now, before I go into the implication of this, uh, if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. Now, the situation we find ourselves now with Aswadibola Metinubo, if it's a situation that is reminiscent of uh, the time of uh, early President Omar Musa Yaradua. When Nigerians were regaled with stories of Yaradua that doing exercise, at that time there were rumors about the health of Yaradua. But these rumors were dispelled by telling Nigerians that uh, Yaradua used to do is doing exercise, that he can climb upstairs, he was in the library, he can do all things. And eventually, all the things they were saying about Yaradua's capacity to preside over Nigeria were untrue. Uh, we also have similar we have similar experience at the early stage of Buhari administration when the president was sick and comparison was made between him and Yaradua and his spokesman Gaba Shehu had to remind Nigerians that Buhari's ailment was not as serious as that of Yaradua. And uh, even the issue of Yaradua, many Nigerians who recall uh, should be aware that Yaradua was sick even before he was railroaded to the presidency by the leadership of the People's Democratic Party. He was sick. Even as governor of, uh, of Castina State, he was always traveling, always going on sick leave abroad. Uh, if, if, if many Nigerians could still recall some of the drama that took place when he emerged at the, as the presidential candidate of the PDP. And he could not even attend campaign rallies that were held on his behalf. In fact, one of the most dramatic uh, events that took place that time was uh, where President Olusegun Obasanjo at the campaign ground called him on the phone, called Yaradu on the phone, and was saying, Umuru, are you dead? They said you are dead. And Umuru, Umuru answered that he's, he's, hell, he's, he's alive and that he's, he's well. Okay? Perhaps Yaradu would have survived and be alive today, but the weight of the office helped to send him to the early grave, despite the best medical facilities and the opportunities he was uh, exposed to. And that death of Yaradua marked the beginning of the, the beginning of the end for the PDP, as the Vice President Jonathan taking over shattered the zoning arrangements of the PDP, which has continued to haunt the party to this day. You all know that his death, Yaradua's death, shattered the zoning arrangement of PDP, and today PDP is in a dilemma to over zoning. And the pitfall of PDP in this coming election is also linked to zoning. Now, what are the takeaways what are the takeaways from Tinubu's uh, writing that he is not dead, that he's hella hearty, that he's looking forward to the campaign? 
One, it is that what, whatever that is keeping him away from the job that he said is his childhood dream must be very serious. As what Bola Metinubu has told Nigerians, that this job of being Nigerian president has been his childhood dream. For something that is his childhood dream, and we are marking the big, we have marked the beginning of the exercise of the campaign, and he is not there, shows that whatsoever is happening is serious, and Nigeria should take it seriously. Another reason, number two reason, he must have that forced him to make that tweet and also make his newspaper to release picture of him in the gym and the video of him in the gym is because he must have gotten reports of people expressing deep concerns about his health, which is already affecting the fortune of the campaign, that he has to show proof that he is still alive. Number three is that he needed to reassure the foot soldiers that they should be they should go ahead with the campaign that he is okay. So you know, a campaign is you need the, the, the people campaigning for you should be sure that there is future in your campaign. And when rumors began to fly around that you are not you are dead or you are not dead, you are sick, you are not sick, and all that, it it it, it, it dampens the morale of your campaigners. And I think as what Bola Metudubo understands this. So that is why he made effort to make that tweet, whether he was the one that made the tweet or his aides did it on his behalf from London. Or wherever he has made it and he has he has appeared on the gym, he has appeared on the cover of his own newspaper to prove that he is alive and that he is here and is hearty. Now, number four takeaway from this is this: Can Nigerians afford to elect another president? with questionable health conditions. Uh, can Nigerians afford to elect a president with another president with questionable health conditions after the experience of the country with Omar Musa Yaradua and President Muhammad Buhari? So the ball is in the court of Nigerians. What do they want? What does Nigerians want? What do you want? Do you want a president that will be away most of the time, taking care of his health and outsourcing the job to others? Or are you comfortable with the fact that you may elect a president while the vice president is actually the person you elected? That is if everything works smoothly. We know how difficult it was for uh, even Buhari to relinquish power to Sibanjo at the height of his uh, uh, ailment. We know what uh, good luck Jonathan passed through before he could even be allowed to become acting president under Omar Musa Yaradua. We know the intrigues we all had about it or how it was difficult even to make Jonathan acting president because of the cabals around, around uh, Omar Musa Yaradua. Are you ready to elect a president of Nigeria who, with so much cabals around about him? And then those cabals will be fighting with Shetima over who is in charge. Or do you rather elect a president who is hell and hearty, who is ready to do the job, who has the age on his side, who has age on his side, 
and who has the capacity, the intellect, the way with her, the energy, the strength to turn around the fortune of this country. This country already is in a dire strait. The economy has collapsed. Inflation is over 20%. Unemployment rate is over 33% and one of, is the highest in the world. Underemployment is one of the highest in the world. Nigeria indebtedness is growing and Nigeria cannot generate enough revenue to pay its debts. So Nigerian, Nigeria is also in a situation where it cannot meet the OPEC portals allocated to it due to uh, oil theft. The country is facing serious insecurity. Large swath of Nigerian land are occupied by non-state actors, bandits, terrorists, he he uh, militant headers, killing people, sacking communities, taking over communities. Farmers can no longer go to farm. Nigeria is facing a serious acute food shortage because of dislocation and disruption of the food value chain by bandits and terrorists. Therefore, Nigeria need a leader who will be hands-on, who will be available 247 in Nigeria solving this problem. Or would you rather have a president that is not there to solve the problem? Nigerians think before you cast your vote in 2023 so that you will not have a situation of had I known you know everything now do not be carried away by religion by ethnicity let your watchword be capacity excellence transparency accountability and capacity to deliver. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, please, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, anytime I have a new video, you will be among the first to know. God bless you.